Hey everyone and welcome back to VFX Vibe once again. So in today's video we are going to see how we can link our Unreal scene into new. Yes, this will be live linking. Anything we are going to change inside Unreal, it will be directly updated inside Nuke. So this topic will be very exciting and I hope you like it. So let's start this topic and jump to screen. Okay, so here as you can see, uh, I have my scene set up over here and if I'm going to uh, exit from it. I have a scene Huge scene. It's downloaded from marketplace I'm going to give link to the description or you can directly go and directly you can uh, check for It's called Elven Rune, I think Elven Rune you can find it uh, on marketplace and you can easily go and you can uh, download it for for free so before doing anything you have to know few things right so inside your unreal your sequencer should be set uh, the frame rate whatever you want uh, the camera the camera what kind of camera movement you want you have to animate it basically you need sequencer to be set otherwise uh, this thing won't happen right after that you have to take care about nuke server plugin you have to install nuke server plugin for unreal so how we can do that so you can directly go to uh, foundry website i'll i'll be giving link to the uh, description as well so you can go to this page nuke server download link for unreal reader and just you have to go to down and whatever version you are using and keep it in mind this will be only for nuke 13 or ever right so if you are using nuke 13.2 you have to download it for windows or mac and 13.1 you can download it for uh, unreal 4.27 as well right so once uh, you are going to download it you have to paste it inside your c drive right after uh, downloading it you will have a nuke server folder something like this so what you have to do so you have to go to your c drive program files and you have to go to epic games the version uh, which you are using uh, i am using uh, unreal engine 5.0 and you have to go over here and you have to go to engine and you have to go to plugins right and you have to paste that foundry plugin folder inside your unreal engines plugin folder and once this is done you have to go to unreal uh, uh, remember after copy pasting it it's not going to start right you have to do few more things as well right so uh, you have to go to setting in unreal engine you have to go to setting and you have to go to plugin setting right over here you have to find foundry right or you have to find nuke yeah so you'll get nuke server experimental right you have to check it on and remember one thing after checking it on you have to it will ask to restart your server then you have to restart it right i have already done it so i don't need to restart it just close it once it's restart just you have to go to window and just you need you will get a nuke server option over here as well right so you have to click on it and here you will have port number which is 9000 by default and currently the server status is offline right so you have to click on start server now your server is up and running let's jump to new directly okay so i'm inside my nuke and what you have to do just you have to hit tab and you have to search unreal reader yes it's pretty important just you have to select unreal reader and, and by default what will happen this error will come right so you don't need to worry just you have to go over here and you have to click connect to server and you remember we have started our server inside unreal it will take some time and automatically what will happen it will be updated right so let's connect to your viewer and hopefully it will work it will take some time now it's working pretty fine so uh let's let's jump to these options right the project in project section you have project path where you have saved your unreal project right uh, which map you are using right and which sequence you are using remember i have talked about sequencer so if you have multiple sequencer then you can select your sequencer uh, as well right so uh, by default image format is 2k so what i'm going to do i'm going to just switch to 
1080 which which i i'll be needing you can select as per your requirement right so automatically it will be updated and as you can see i am getting my unreal shot or unreal sequence inside my nuke isn't it great right so what else we have right so you can render on full image or you can render stencils layer if you want i can make uh, another separate video for what exactly are stencils layer then again we have a over scan right if you are doing any uh, kind of lens distortion thing so you can directly uh, render your over scan data from here as well as you know that you have to redistort your undistorted footage inside your nuke so you can render over scan data as well frame range whatever you have selected over uh, unreal you can uh, render your frame rate as well you can change it as well if you want right this is very important if you think that every changes you have made inside unreal and you are ready to go so there are two ways to work on you can directly work on live linking or you can if you think that uh, all changes has been done so you can write your uh, all data which which we have inside uh, unreal you can write it in your hard drive and then you can access it what will happen i'll always recommend render your data inside your hard drive and then start compositing right apart from unreal Re reader tab you have render tab as well and trust me this is the most exciting tab ever right so as you can see over here i have a render passes right probably you are asking if you can uh, render your render passes inside uh, unreal that will be good for us to uh, make my show reel or make our show reel or make our shot so here is the answer you have all the data all the layer passes over here as well right from ambient occlusion to base color to crypto mat to detail lighting and what not right so i'm ju just for quick introduction and trust me this will be the first video i'm going to make another detailed video how i can start doing compositing with the help of these render passes so don't worry in this video just i'm going to uh, give you an introduction ki what can be done with the live linking of unreal and nuke right <clears throat> so i'm going to select a uh, base color probably just you have to click and just you have to click crypto mat might be i need crypto mat might be i need default lighting and uh, or lighting only let's let's check and i'm going to need my depth map and i'm going to need my normal and point position pass that's it we have lots of passes over here which we are going to discuss later when i am going to start compositing with the help of these render passes but for this video i'm pretty much satisfied with this render passes so might be you can ask yes i have selected my render passes and if i'm going to layer drop down menu i will not have anything because you need to update channel list you need to click on update channel list so i'm going to click on it it will take some time few seconds and now if i are going to click on drop down menu you have everything whatever you have selected over here right so uh, we have base color which we call uh, diffuse albedo it will take some time since it's a live link so it will take some time and as you can see over here we have our diffuse albedo right isn't it great again apart from this i can select detail lighting so you will have your light passes can you see that only light can you see that without shadow something kind of and we have world depth might be you can ask it's why this is something like that so if you are going to crunch down your gain so you can see we have lots of information over here right so and, and we can shuffle it and we can use it apart from that we have normal pass apart from that we have point position pass isn't it great and we have crypto mat as well so we can use crypto mat uh, i'll let you know how we can use crypto mat so just you can go and you can type crypto and what will happen automatically your crypto mat will be activated it will take some time and now you can go over here and you can add picker and you can click and you can select your desired area or desired object 
just for masking right so this is something you can uh, think of let's jump to our unreal reader node and in advanced tab we have uh, some settings for anti-aliasing you have to if you want to increase your anti-aliasing setting you can go over here and many more i'm not going to deep dive into all those options because it's pretty much self-explanatory and you can go and can check this another big thing you can select your camera or you can import your camera from this unreal reader node as well so i'm going to camera tab and just i'm going to click on create camera and boom automatically your camera will be inside your new can you see that and it's all animated if you want to connect your link output you can uh, do it uh, means if I'm going to change anything inside this camera in inside uh, my unreal what will happen it will automatically update and if I'm going to check it out anything I'm going to change inside unreal camera it's not going to update so you can you can try out if you want to select your uh, linked output or not so you can yes you can export your camera as well and you can type some variable and you can use console command which you can use inside unreal as well so this is something uh, you can try it out and if you want to see your layer contact sheet just i'm going to type layer contact sheet over here and i'm going to connect it and automatically you can see all your render layers suppose that if you want to add few more uh, uh, render passes that also you can do so let it update so here is our all render passes if you want to add few more render layers just double click on the unreal reader node just go to render tab and suppose that this time you want to render or you want to add your might be diffuse color and apart from that diffuse color you want to add metallic so after adding it if you're going to see over here you won't find because you have to click on update channel list so it will take some time it will update our render layers and once this is done if you can go over here and now you can see my diffuse color render layer it will take some time to update yeah it has been updated and also you can go over here and you can select our metallic pass right something like that so this is a very good update or this is a very 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 uh, a useful update by unreal and foundry and we can do whatever shot we want to create inside unreal and directly we can take those all those data inside nuke and we can render our uh, multi-layered exr and we can start our compositing so i i hope this video uh, will be very helpful to you and if you think that this video is very helpful to you please don't forget to comment inside comment box i'm going to make another video which i'm going to uh, use this render passes and i'm going to do compositing uh, inside nuke and uh, we'll see how we can utilize all these render passes and we can make our comp much better. So I hope you like this video and if you think that this video is helping you, please don't forget to like this video, share this video and if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. With this said, this is VFXY signing off. Have a good day.